Okay, so I uh, picked up these X-Real. They were N-Real when I bought them, but I picked these uh, X-Real glasses up a few weeks ago. <laughs> Had them for a while now, and uh, recently, in beta, there is an update um, that allows for 120 hertz, where before it was actually only 60. Also, 72 hertz in the Nebula app. Which I'm um, like the Nebula app. The con the type of content that's being played there is. Yeah, I haven't found any reason to need a higher refresh rate, other than for smoother head motion. But I was also you can use 3D now in in the Nebula app as well. That's probably a bigger thing than <laughs> the 120 hertz. Oh, I'm sorry, the 72 hertz in the Nebula experience. But. Um, the 120 hertz, which is what I tested in beta, it's been working fine. It's just, uh, uh, you just choose 120 hertz and it works. There's not much to it. Tried it on the Steam Deck and it worked fine. I tried it on my gaming laptop, which is a Lenovo Gaming 3. And that worked fine. 120 hertz was able to... I wasn't able to play Call of Duty at 120 hertz, but I was able to play Modern Warfare 2 at uh, at least over 100 frames per second on here. It was very smooth and responsive and worked very well. So now on the Steam Deck side of things, you just plug it in. Um, <clears throat> and basically, when you plug it in, it automatically detects 1080p 120 hertz. Um, and then you can play mostly little games, um, nothing crazy at 120 hertz, but I played Half-Life 2 at 120, and, and that was a locked 120, worked fine, uh, well, looked great, so that was a thing, <laughs> um, and I played something else, what else did I play? Oh, I tried to play something that didn't... Oh, Borderlands 2, it, it made it over 60, but... But, um... Maybe you tweaked the settings a little bit. No, it was at 720p, too. So, maybe if you tweak the settings a little bit, you get a little more. But I got over 60 a couple times, but mostly just 60. A couple of games are locked at 60, so you can't actually even choose 120. Um... But the games that I did play that worked fine, well, they worked fine, of course. <laughs> the games that worked fine worked fine. <laughs> uh, one other thing that I, that I tried that didn't work, and that may be a limitation of the hardware. Um, I've never tried this on anything else, but the my phone, which is a Samsung, I'm recording with it now, is a Samsung uh, S21 Ultra, and... The output of the phone, like mirror mode, did only worked at 60 hertz. So, and you can check that by going into the developer options. You enable developer options, and you can you can show the refresh rate on the screen, so that you can uh, figure that out uh, if it's actually running at uh, 60 or 120. Um, so that did that didn't work. Um, something tells me that's a hardware limitation, though, that it doesn't output in mirror mode at 120. But that were I did not test Dex. I saw ooh, <laughs> I saw someone saying they tried out Dex, and Dex worked just fine <laughs> at 120. So that's the thing. I also have the Enreal Beam coming. Whenever that gets released, I have that pre on pre-order. Oh, and a cool little apparent update. Uh, you can find these things out on Reddit. Um, but one of the things that is coming is Nebula support for the Steam Deck. Um, so yeah, apparently they're working on Nebula f specifically for the Steam Deck. Hopefully for Linux completely. But uh, just f specifically for the Steam Deck. So the downside to that is if you bought the uh, the Unreal Beam and uh, you bought it for the Steam Deck, you may have bought it for no reason. 
Um, yeah, so there's just that, but maybe there'll be some kind of benefit, like, you know, better FPS when not running the software on the, on the Steam Deck as opposed to offloading it to the Beam. But supposedly you'll be able to detach the display from your head because that drives me nuts. That's something I really don't like about these glasses and one of the things that makes me not use them a lot of the times is that display just following your head movement around. Um, but anyways... That's to me is a great update. <laughs> 120 hertz is is awesome. You can go to the Reddit and download the APK file, uh, the beta, and then you plug your your. Um, it has to be with a compatible phone, unfortunately, but you have to plug it into the phone, and then once you you know when you have the beta app installed, it will install the drivers to your to your uh, glasses, that will enable this uh, feature, and the. Um, Nebula uh, 72 hertz mode has to be enabled in the in the settings of the app so that's there um, Got to try out some other things with this uh, such as the the uh, 3d mode um, And that's about it I'll link to the uh, reddit post so you can get the apk file and uh guess I'll be using these and thank you for watching